Hello again. This is uh, just a quick review of the uh, EVGA GeForce RTX 3090 XC3 Ultra. Okay, so obviously the card is uh, it is now out of the box and running on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so at this point I'm just uh, testing the card, see how it goes. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. I have these three two MSI one uh, ASUS Trix uh, 3090s. I'm looking for a fourth one. This is what I could get my hands on. Uh, this uh, GeForce RTX uh, is not too bad, uh, but again, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll keep it. So build quality, it is uh, it is quite good. Uh, my um, my first impression it is that uh, it is a very good build even if it's smaller than the other uh, cards it is I don't know it looks like 30% smaller it looks like a 3080 or something like that the cooler it is uh, slim it is uh, shorter it still does a great job uh, the temp temperature stays like pretty good You can see the memory junction right now. It says it sits at 96. It's sort of 96, 98, but uh, mostly 96 from what I've seen. While the GPU temp uh, it's, it is uh, 50 C, and it, it does running at a pretty aggressive overclock settings right now, minus 200 core clock, and uh, plus 1240 memory clock and 80, 85 uh, percent power. And the mh per second it goes around 115 116 is it the last one in here on the list is it the gpu uh, number three there is a zero one two three okay. now normally my other ones will sit at uh, one 122 123 for some reason now since i plug this one they all sort of decreased a bit in speed uh, The most that has decreased in speed is the Asus RTX 3090 that normally runs at 122 as well. Plus now it's 120, and this CVGA RTX 3090 as you can see 1 115 93 116. So it's not a bad card. It is uh, slightly cheaper than the rest, like around like 250 Canadian cheaper. Uh, much smaller if you are, if you have like a small, not too much space, and you want the best card. I guess this is the one that you. You should probably get. It's probably the smallest uh, 3090 you can get. And uh, I haven't played too much with the overclocking settings. I don't know if I give a bit more power or memory clock, or mm, maybe I can get up to like almost 120. I don't know. But so far, uh, from what I did uh, in the last like two hours, play with the settings a bit. Uh, I got no crashings whatsoever. It uh, it stays at, at this uh, memory junction like 96 and uh, 50C uh, temperature and uh, running at 160, 115, 116. Uh, no problem. And uh, room temperature is uh, 26 degrees right now. Power consumption, as you can see, it drops somewhere around like uh, under 300, 298 right now. Okay, let's see the power consumption in here. Six GPU power. Okay, so now again it's running at this uh, speeds and temperature without doing any sort of modifications, no extra 
no extra hit scenes on the back, uh, no pressure on the back plate or nothing. I'm not sure if it is actually a, a good idea to add his things on the back of this car. The back plate is full of holes and uh, adding his things on top is going to deny that air circulating. I'm not sure if that's going to be an improvement or if it's going to make no difference or will make it worse. Um, for sure I can put just maybe like four his things just on the main area where there are no holes but I'm not going to be able to spread them too much on the back plate. If I'll decide to keep this, I'll definitely put some heat sinks in there. I'll try adding a bit, just a bit of pressure, see if it goes under 90. Uh, the Asus Trix actually, it's, it runs very nice. Like it, it runs at like uh, 90. I've seen it even under 90s. Uh, if I keep the room temperature around like uh, 24, 25 or so, it, it runs like very nice. The, the Asus and MSI, they run at around 96. With this room temperature, the uh, AC streaks are like around 90, so that's that's great. After doing the back plate uh, hissings and extra pressure, so yeah, this is it. If you are considering uh, this one, the uh, 3090 XE3 Ultra is not a bad card, it's not the best either, but it, it, it's not a bad card at all. and. Uh, it's smaller, it can fit in pretty much most of the cases, I guess. Well, obviously, if you want to uh, have it running 24-7, you probably want to want to open case or at least open the uh, case somehow. The ideal environment it is open air. But it is, uh, it is not too bad. Uh, at first, when I got it, I played it a bit with it. I could only get like 105, 106. Um, Image per second, like I, I was kind of disappointed, but then I was willing to give it a, a second chance. And so yeah, after playing with it for like a couple hours, uh, this is where it stays. Okay, I have to get this. Okay, peace.